United Party for National Development, UPND Kawata Information and Publicity Secretary, Minda Simata, has called for the immediate release of their member, Likwanya Matomola. Matomola, who is UPND Vice Information and Publicity Secretary in Lusaka, was arrested on 17th November 2020 after protesting half-naked at Unza premises. This was after University of Zambia management stopped some students owing the institution to write their examinations. Speaking to journalists at a media briefing in Lusaka, Mrs. Mata has also given the police an ultimatum of up to Monday, 30th November 2020, to release Mr. Matomola, who has been in police custody at Chelston Police Station since the time he was arrested. who was arrested on 17th November 2020 after protesting half-naked in Lusaka. United Party for National Development, UPN, the aspiring councillors, has called on for the immediate release of Dikwanya Mutomola. Speaking to journalists at a media briefing in Lusaka, UPN Dikawata Information and Publicity Secretary and also aspiring councillor Pokamwala Wadfai, Mainda Simata, has called on the police to release Mutomola and allow him to access medical attention. Mr. Smata has further given the police an ultimatum of 48 hours to release Mutomola. And we are calling for them again to release Comrade Matomola Likwanya unconditionally. We are giving them an ultimatum up to 14 hours on Monday. If they do not release him by 14 hours Monday, the all of the councillors, all of the councillors in Osaka aspire, including youths, are going to go and camp at Chelston Police Station. And we are not going to leave that police station until they either release him or take him to court. Speaking at the same event, UPND aspiring candidate for Lusaka Central, as well as vice chairperson of UPND United Councillors in Lusaka, has this to say. So he stood for the majority citizens in Zambia. He stood for the number of students at UNSA who haven't been able to sit for their exams because they haven't paid their fees. There's no wrong in standing and being a voice of the people. Was that a crime? We are all potential prisoners at the end of the day. Let's not use our authority to intimidate the youth. And we refuse to be intimidated. You incarcerate one of us, you incarcerate us all. We demand for the release of Matomola because he didn't do anything. We are so concerned with the voter registration exercise in our words. Specifically, I want to speak of where I'm coming from, in Kanyama or 11. I'm talking about John Lane, I'm talking about Kanyama, Chinika, Chivoda. These places have been surrounded by PF cadres. We don't know if this exercise is a PF event. We don't know. Why should PF take over the voter registration exercise? We've been told that marketeers, by the way, our word cutters even the biggest market, city market. M marketeers in city market have been told to say they will not trade if they will not bring the voters car to the PF cutters. That is a concern. Why should our people surrender their voters cards to PF cutters? Margaret Chota, Movie TV News in Lusaka. And the opposition UPND has questioned Republican Vice President